Hello again, friends. I hope you're doing well this week. So Monday was a day to remember, wasn't it? For those of us in the Dallas area, at least, it will be a certainly be a day when we will remember exactly where we were and exactly what we were doing. Where were you during the eclipse? I actually got the chance to ride along with a member of the church and a friend who flew his airplane to Danville, Arkansas, of all places, where it was clear skies. That's why we went, of course. So there we were at this tiny little airstrip in this little bitty town with a bunch of other folks who flew there that we didn't know. And like everyone else, we sat back awestruck at the beauty of the changing light caused by a celestial interruption that brought many to tears. Since then, I've heard a number of people say, talk about how it was a great, a wonderful uh, distraction to everything that's going on in the world. For a brief moment, they say, we were all distracted from a world where we are completely divided on just about everything. And I thought that too. But the more I reflect on it, the more I wonder if all the stuff we fight about and all the stuff that takes up most of our energy, if that's not the actual distraction from the posture God hopes for, that the posture we had during the eclipse, that of awe and wonder and curiosity and this mutual understanding that we are all somewhat small in the scheme of things and are all subject to powers beyond anything we could ever imagine, if that posture is not where we naturally should be. And all the rest of it is the real distraction. Which one is the distraction? The moments when we feel at peace and at one with humanity, however brief, or the moments when we're ready to put someone else down because we think they differ from us. Which posture do you think God hopes for from the creatures that have been fashioned out of love? Give that some thought this week and take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.